much as it has of late? I think you pretty much nailed it. Um, you know, just attacking, attacking a backpedaling defense. Um, you know, we're getting open shots and we're moving the ball. Um, we're not like doing anything special. I just think, you know, we're moving the ball, we're cutting and respacing, and, and people are finding guys. It's just as simple as that. Do you think this team is more conducive to run than maybe how it was built, say, last year? Yeah. Um, and I think we brought in some guys that are, you know, willing to run a little more, you know, get out and, uh, like I said, attack a, pack, a backpedaling defense. And, you know, that makes defenses, uh, you know, have to rotate and, and we're moving the ball well. And, um, you know, credit to us for that, though. Do you think you've got a better score than DJ, with Joel now out indefinitely, how does this team react to that news? Um, you know, we've had to play without him for a little bit. And, um, you know, we can't sit here and complain that he's not playing. Uh, and people need to step up. Uh, and I think Joel has done that. And, um, you know, even some more other guys have, have stepped up too. So, uh, you know, we just got to keep doing that for however long he's out. Do you think you've become a better or more effective scorer this year? I think teams are, are playing my pass, and um, I've had to find different ways to score. So to answer your question, yeah. Tonight, if matchups hold, I and mean, obviously Steph Curry's out there, what have you learned from facing him and your time in the league, and where do you start? Um, you're not going to stop running, that's for sure. And um, I mean, once he steps over half court, he's in range to shoot. So uh, that's pretty much all I can tell you. Is he, like, I mean, when, you, when you think about you know, having to defend that and that kind of shooting range, I mean, is your mind just blown? Is it like, is it like one of those things like, all right, well, you know, I'll do my best, but. Yeah, um, that's why he was the unanimous MVP last year. Um, he, he, he's you know, one of the best players in the league, if not the best player. And, you know, when a guy steps over half court and he's in shooting range, I mean, there's not a lot you can do from that aspect. Is that the key reason that they're so fast, that they score so much? Is it just, do you think it's just because they're shooters? Or do you see more about how well they run and get the spots or, you know, stuff like that? I mean, I think Steve Kerr, you know, has done a great job with them, not, you know, trying to, you know, a lot of people, I think, would try to, you know, get their fingers in there and you know try to overcoach them but he he just I think puts a couple sets in and lets them play off of it and you know that's you know credit to him but you know if a guy like Steph isn't scoring one night they've got Clay and if he's not scoring they've got KD um, and it goes down the line so it's a it's a damn good team. Did you have much uh, back and forth with Kerr ever through the whole Arizona connection? I I don't have his number I don't you know text him but you know when I when I see him, we definitely talk, and same with Luke Walton. Um, you know, every time we play against each other, uh, we're always talking.